hello everyone in this video i will explain data types available in octave so first of all uh, if you want to create any variable just write the variable name and assign some value so uh, this expression will assign a value 12 to variable x now at a point of time if you want to see how many variable right now you are having in current scope so you can write this command who so it can show how many variable you have created so far so right now it's showing only one variable which is x so now we want to see what is the data type of this variable how this octave is working so in order to get more details you can run this command so here we are getting this is the name of our variable uh, this is the size so if you can see octave actually store everyone in a form of matrix so in it store every numeric value as a double now at some point of time we don't want double because it require more memory so you can select uh, which data type you can you want to use so here we are having options like uh, for integer we are having four options like int 8 int 16 int 32 int 64 so it's up to your usage so if uh, you are using very less value like say 10 12 the range of your values is not large so you can go for this data type int 8 so we are having four options for numeric data type uh, which is for non-real numbers and uh, so these actually you can store signed as well as unsigned number but if you want to go only for unsigned so in that case you can use data type like u int 8 u int 16 u int 32 and u int 64 so let's see how we can create a variable of integer data type so let's say we want to create a variable y and I want to make this variable as a integer data type variable. So what I will write here int 8 and whatever value you want to assign just write. So what this expression has done, this expression made this variable as an integer and it has allotted 8 bits and the value is stored 12. Let's see details of this variable. So now we are having two variables x and y. Data type of x is double and if you can see data type of y is int 8. So same if you want to go for unsigned. Let's say take one more variable and go for u int 8 and let's see the details. So here we are having variable z. And the data type, if you can see, this is the unsigned int 8. So you can go for int 8, 16, 32, and 64. Now, this is the default data type for every numeric variable. And this is the double precision. Sometimes we don't want double precision in real numbers. So let's say if you, I want to create a number, let's say A. And I want to go for only single precision. So what you have to do, you have to write here single. So now this, uh, wait, I this is spelled this this single. So what I need to write single 1.23. So if I will see the details of this variable. So if you can see the variable a data type is single. Okay, so these are the inbuilt data types. So, so far we have seen single, double, integer. We are having four options. Unsigned integer, we are having four options. Now, uh, let's say we want to store a string. So, you can store a string in double quotation or a single quotation. So, let's go for apple. Now, let's see the details. So, the data type of B is character and octave actually store every variable in a form of matrix so if you can see here this matrix is nothing else this is a 
matrix of a characters so we are having a single row with five elements so this is a string data type and it will show actually char so if you are storing only a single character that you can consider as a character data type and if you want to store a string that will be stored as multiple characters so everything this string and character both are handled with this data type char so these are the inbuilt data type which you can use thank you very much for watching